how to make this little salt dough rose. So for this workshop you will need a bowl, some salt, plain flour, a fork, a knife, something to measure with, and optional a, a glove. Now in this bowl we're going to put two parts flour, one part salt, one part water. And then stir all of your ingredients until it becomes one mass so the bowl should be clean by the end of stirring all this together. Voila. Okay, so now it's in one mass. You can knead the dough. So you can either do this if you've got a small amount, you can do this in your hands like I am. Or if you have a larger amount, sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the surface. And that little bit of flour just stops it from sticking to the table. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. And there you have it. That's been about five minutes. So as you can see, it's just a bit smoother. Bits aren't falling off anymore. It's a bit easier to mould into shape. So the first thing we're going to do is to halve it. And then with those two halves, our foes. of about two pennies. On top of each other. They don't have to be perfect discs, perfect circles. They can be a little bit rough. So we have one. We're going to do this for all of these. So I might do the fast forward. surface before you cut. And just make sure that you don't get any scratches on your tables. And then using a fork, I'm just going to make some nice pattern. You don't have to make lines. You can make any patterns you want in them, or even leave them blank. It still looks good. I'm just adding this little bit of texture. So that one is ready to either sit in a cool place 
overnight to two days depending on how hot or dry or damp your house is it should take about a day to dry or you can pop it in the oven on the lowest heat that the oven can go and just check on it every hour see how long it will take to dry so don't leave your oven on overnight with this one I made earlier I just popped it in an oven proof dish and it was in the oven for about five hours just drying out on a low heat and then once you have finished once it's dry you can either paint it or varnish it or leave it as it is as always we love to see your creations so if you do want to email them in the address is coming up any second now thanks for watching